There you go. Okay. Hello, my name is Tyler Duncan, uh, and I'm here with Ty Schmidt. We both represent uh, Dell's modular data center business. Uh, we are uh, part of the technical leadership community and, and really serve more as a, a technical presence for the modular data center business. So uh, I'll start out by saying that the uh, presentation on the agenda, I think, is labeled about uh, bringing uh, the edge to you and, and through the Dell's modular data centers. Uh, I'm really just focusing more on Dell modular data centers. And the reason is, is because the uh, edge, as I look at it, it's really anything outside of the traditional data center. So it doesn't matter whether we're talking far edge or whether just outside the walls or on the roof or in the parking lot of a traditional space. And Tyler, I, I, would, I would, yeah, absolutely. I would probably just add that the context of the audience uh, here, uh, we are, reflecting uh, basically what we've been doing for well over a decade. Uh, I, most would argue that, that this is edge in nature. Um, you know, the last few years and then going, going forward, the research and, and uh, solutioning that we're doing for the HPC space uh, is of particular interest. Um, many customers are having challenges uh, using, uh, whether it's liquid cooling, immersion cooling, um, higher power densities in their current data center space. And we're seeing lots of interest from customers to use this type of technology to allow them to um, uh, utilize basically uh, clusters that would break or would not fit very well within their current space. And so when I would ask when you're looking at what Tyler's describing and, and showing over the next few slides, uh, look at it through that lens. Absolutely. So first, just to kind of level set, um, I, I've got a slide here that's about what is a modular data center. And it, it's not just what you see in the top picture. It's not just ISO containers. Uh, that's where we started out uh, about 13, 14 years ago. Uh, but I really think that it has evolved and it's more of a, a purpose engineered and built uh, modules. It's meant to be able to provide uh, scalable data center capacity anywhere it's needed. And so, you know, at the bottom, you see a little bit of some examples from our portfolio of looking at everything from on the far left, very small modules that are meant to really be at that far edge. Um, and we've got these deployed all over the world, uh, looking at the medium size, uh, which really gets into some great things as far as deploying, uh, you know, quickly, uh, and in several remote locations. And then we get into the very, very large and several of these are in the multiple megawatts uh, of space. And you can kind of see with the represent, representation of the people next to them of just the overall size of each, of each one. And I would, I would add that um, you know, from a usage model standpoint, and again, kind of what, what a customer defines as their edge, um, the smaller stamp sizes we see a lot of applicability, uh, whether they are, you know, on on university campuses, uh, expanded lab space, uh, development space, um, even used by customers for localized data ingest uh, and compute. And they really the 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 intent is um, to provide that. You know, we we use the term wrapper, but it's basically you know the structure, the security. Um, power cooling, embedded UPS, um, whatever whatever form of energy storage, fire suppression, all the controls and monitors, basically wrapping that IT gear and and, and uh, providing a uh, an environment for it to operate. And um, you know, I think Tyler touched on this. I think you'll get into it in the next few slides. But you know these are really designed as systems, and so the uh, you know our ability to optimize uh, power distribution. Um, you know, UPS, uh, energy storage, cooling uh, for the uh, the IT stamp that's going to be involved uh, really does play into the overall efficiency and effectiveness uh, of the solution. And that same approach scales from small to medium to large. Yeah, and, and so that's exactly the, the next slide here is really about, you know, what is a Dell modular data center? And so for us, 
we look at it the same as we do our IT. And a lot of that's because our group is a, a hybrid of people that came from designing Dell IT uh, to uh, designing the large data center infrastructure. And so we have kind of that hybrid approach, but we look at it the same as we design servers that what we wanna do is we wanna to try to be able to standardize as many components as possible and look at it from an ingredients and a, a component standpoint that allow us to be able to scale capacity or resiliency up and down and to be able to do that in a, well, in a standardized way. And so the same way on a server as I can have a, a single or a dual power supply, I can expand my uh, processor uh, capacity, my speeds, my number of cores, the memory capacity, hard drives, um, so on and so forth. I can add in custom elements just like PCI cards, but I can do that on a larger scale of a module as well. And so I've kind of broken it down into some different pieces here. And you know, on the left, we, we start with the IT always because uh, that's where our background is. So we're looking at factory integrated server storage network, being able to ship uh, the all of the IT fully configured, loaded with software, uh, network rack cabled, and to be able to do that safely and ship it anywhere in the world and have it arrive and ready to go. Uh, on the power side, you know, being able to deal with various uh, power uh, inlet input requirements, uh, whether it's you know 50, 60 hertz, whatever voltage. Uh, AC, DC, the transformation, energy storage, redundancy, uh, everything all the way looking down into uh, service access and, and overall protection. Um, on the environmental side, uh, we, we use varying uh, cooling technologies. We can take advantage of, you know, cooling infrastructure that's already at a location. If there happens to be a chilled water loop, we have lots and lots of standalone designs. We use 100% uh, outside air cooled in solutions. Uh, we also uh, will look at, you know, the DLC content uh, to be able to provide that liquid cooling directly to the components inside the servers and to be able to provide that all as part of a solution. Uh, in, with a modular data center, we're also concerned about deploying in really harsh environments. So in some cases, this may be that we're actually providing uh, heating elements to be able to handle a, a minus 40 degree uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius uh, startup condition. We're looking at humidity controls to ensure the reliability of the servers, the air quality, uh, and the same thing on the power, we're looking at redundancy and efficiency. Uh, as far as some of the other add-ons, and you know, I kind of mentioned the analogy of the PCI cards, uh, the things that maybe aren't always required, but the things that we can, uh, we can and do uh, implement, uh, we have you know, fire and smoke detection and suppression. Uh, we can, uh, we can and, and do implement uh, ICD 705 uh, DOD requirements for SCIF and Tempest uh, access controls uh, to be able to align with whatever the, our customers' uh, security requirements are and be able to tie into their systems um, for surveillance. And we also have monitoring management and control sequencing. And then on the enclosure itself, we're looking at all types of different form factors, uh, you know, how we're actually going to deploy it, the physical security, knowing that I may have something outside of my traditional data center space and maybe away from uh, a lot of uh, skilled uh, IT you know, personnel. And so making sure that we have the right physical security and uh, lots of options there. The shock and vibe isolation I mentioned as far as being able to deploy servers and have them uh, arrive uh, and to be ready to go without any damage. Uh, seismic and lightning protection are another couple of examples there. And these are all just a few examples. There's uh, literally millions of different combinations of things that of how we can tie all these together. Yeah, so a couple, a couple of comments on some of these sections. So from, a, from an IT standpoint, one attribute that we have maintained since the very beginning of, uh, of our business and providing these types of solutions to customers is we take a, an agnostic approach to IT. Uh, and what that means is uh, we design for, you know, anyone's IT gear to go into it. Um, we really felt like from the beginning that uh, forcing a customer to only choose Dell uh, was going to be limiting. And uh, we did not want to do that. And so our approach is agnostic. Now we do um, 
you know, have the ability much more so when when uh, it's Dell on Dell, where we can uh, tune and, and optimize and tweak uh, to, to, to get the most effectiveness or efficiency for the solution um, as a system. But uh, uh, from a from a modular data center standpoint, making sure that um, I would say roughly 10 to 15 percent of the IT gear that is in our modular data centers uh, is not Dell. And uh, you know, we're a big believer in, in uh, allowing the customer choice. And we have to stand alone on our performance and cost and, and uh, value to customers. Uh, from a power standpoint, one thing I would add there is for Edge, you know, what we're seeing in, in many situations are limitations um, and the ability to deploy something very quickly and minimize the amount of trades work that may be required on site. And so, um, you know, designing basically, uh, you know, power whips that uh, are already terminated and allowed to plug into existing um, you know, power infrastructure uh, is is a small but but you know I'd say small example but a very important example in how uh, we design the system basically to um, minimize cost and risk and and uh, time. And then the last thing I would say is, you know, when it comes to uh, the environment and, and Tyler talked about on the add-on side. Um, you know, one of the challenges that we see for customers when deploying uh, or transforming their sites for edge are the ability to monitor and, um, you know, have this plug in seamless. And I don't know, Tyler, if you wanted to comment, you know, you, you did mention monitoring management, but there's a there's a subtle aspect of uh, of our system being able to seamlessly kind of plug into an existing uh, management system uh, and be monitored and or have a standalone uh, it's kind of single pane of glass monitoring aspect to it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our, our overall goal is to be able to allow and to uh, make the deployment of IT easier for our customers. And so everything is being able to, to have an all encompassing system that is tying all these things together and to be able to have the touch points uh, for the customer to make that very easy. So making uh, all the IT pre-integrated, having the, the monitoring and management aspect where it's ready to plug into a customer solution or, or for us to be able to manage that as well. Um, handling all the power and the cooling and the security, but still not making it where it has to be ours. Uh, if you know, we can do as much uh, or as little as is needed. So uh, the security is a great example of that. Of if a customer already has an existing security system and they just want us to have a place to be able to mount that uh, system inside to uh, manage the, the door access, then that's great. We can absolutely do that. We do that all the time. Uh, the last piece here is really, you know, I'm, I mentioned, you know, why a Dell modular data center. And for us, there's a lot of the customer challenges. We, we find that our customers are out of space, out of capacity in their existing uh, data centers. They're, you know, retrofitting those spaces would be expensive, it'd be unoptimized if they're looking at HPC, if they're looking at uh, liquid cooling and trying to add water into a space, increasing the, uh, the uh, capacity per rack, you know, in a lot of the times, you know, four or five X of maybe what it was, then now all of a sudden their traditional space can be very unoptimized if they do that for the small uh, footprint that they may have that you know, needs this much higher capacity. Uh, another aspect is time to operation. You know, I mentioned we really wanna make things easier for our customers, but that deploying a lot of things on site and doing it all manually uh, it puts a lot of processes in series and uh, it just takes a long time to uh, be up to speed. The, another aspect is delaying uh, you know, capital investments. So that can be for a few reasons, whether it is uh, more from a depreciation and, and tax purpose, or whether it is maybe not necessarily knowing exactly what they need to build out their larger space for. And so they, can, they don't have to predict uh, what the future is going to be X number of years in advance. They can grow and scale the capacity as they need to uh, over time and really just order just what they need as they need it. Uh, and then the, the last piece on the customer challenges is one size doesn't fit all. Uh, we found that uh, there's a, a need for customization that the, some customers need high capacity, low resiliency, others need uh, 
you know, low or medium capacity and high resiliency. Some need uh, to meet certain government requirements or some other uh, industry requirement. And that can be, uh, you know, I say industry, but it can also be by locale. Uh, as far as if I'm in, you know, Miami, Florida, I need to be able to handle hurricane ratings, uh, but I don't necessarily have that same challenge if I'm in Montana, so. And then as far as the, the Dell value, uh, you know, we are IT centric on the overall design. We understand the IT, we understand the uh, environment it can be in, and we can also optimize uh, the solutions together. We've deployed solutions with fanless servers uh, and had that burden on the, uh, the modular data center in order to provide a highly optimized design. Um, we're also, we are a one-stop shop. We own it from cradle to grave. So we work with our customers on the initial architecture, on the detailed design. We oversee the manufacturing, uh, the IT integration, uh, the deployment, the sustaining, uh, and even the end of life. So we, we own it all the way and, uh, you know, from cradle to grave, also from server to rack to the modular data center. Uh, world, class, world class infrastructure. We have efficiencies that we've measured uh, on average of, of for the cooling side, and this was with our outside air uh, cooled modules, but all the way down to an average of 1.01. Now that has the power transformation outside of the modules in those particular cases, but uh, and then on peak days uh, on a rooftop in Phoenix of uh, 1.043. Uh, Technology provider agnostic, as Ty mentioned earlier, that's uh, on the IT side. We, we support any IT, but we also look at that on the infrastructure side of, we're not tied to just trying to sell a particular infrastructure component. In fact, in a lot of cases, we're really looking at how to minimize the overall infrastructure. Uh, we, you know, Dell's goal is really to make the deployment of the IT uh, successful and it is not uh, to provide lots of extra infrastructure if not required. And then the, the last piece that I have listed here is the Dell IP. And we, we have uh, hundreds of, of patents in this space that are all around trying to optimize and provide the right value and the right capabilities uh, into the solutions to be able to meet our customers' needs. So that's the presentations I have here. Uh, I'll open it up to questions uh, if there are any. And I'll also say that, you know, uh, Ty and I, we put our contact information on here. If there's anything that anybody wants to follow up with us on afterwards, uh, please uh, send us an email, uh, call us, uh, however it works. You know, we're happy to talk at any point in time. And we do, I think, I think there's another 